I tried anti-gravity, DeepMind's new agentic IDE, so you don't have to. The setup was surprisingly easy. My original development environment was VS Code with Gemini 2.5 as a CLI, so I'm choosing the import option. I went for the Tokyo theme because I was literally in a high-speed train in Japan while filming this video. That's how excited I am about this launch. Anyways, I choose Agent Assistant Development and letting the agent decide when it needs my input, which is between total vibe coding in YOLO mode and manually coding and accepting everything like a psychopath. Some more configurations, sign in with a Gmail account, and we are ready to chat. I'm using Gemini 3, but you can use other models like Claude or ChatGPT and even invoke CLIs. Now for today's task, I want to share my trip with my grandma like I do on social media, but without all the additional noise and misinformation. So I'm creating a folder for my project and I'm asking Gemini to use BigQuery's multi-model capabilities to analyze the files in a GCS bucket and create a mobile app that shows the photos and videos from my trip with additional context in a timeline, all translated into Espanol. I'm asking it to get the location metadata from the files and to read into the prints I made with flights and hotel reservations to establish a timeline and to give the story some context. I'm being specific about using Cloud Run with IAP authentication and to code everything in Python as much as possible. I'm also telling it to start with a single container and to create the deployment script for it. I'm being explicit about the AI function that I want to use as I know that Gemini 3 is already available for BigQuery, so I'll want to try that later. We can see it thinking for a while and within four seconds, we get the first request to list the current directory. 13 seconds later and we get an implementation plan and the list of tasks for us to review. We can use inline comments to give it corrections, so I clarify what I meant by the trips and confirm the assumptions that are asking specifically for my review. I also clarify that Gemini 3 is available, but I'm not expecting that part to be okay because they're both launched at the same time. I also tell it that if it needs an additional container to use the load balancer for the front end and configure the network in between them, but with more words. 10 seconds later, it's asking for permission to create a bucket. And this is when I realized I never told it which GCP project to use. So I'm adding that now. Yes, my project is in there called Stabby for you, and it's now setting it into the config for the gcloud CLI. Then it moves on to creating the BigQuery dataset and the connection to execute functions in Vertex AI. This connection is now failing because of permissions, so it generates the command for me to accept and grant the service account the right permissions. Now with everything fixed, it's moving on to creating a store procedure to process the files in the GCS bucket. Let's take a look at that scripts for a second. And we can see it's creating the external table for the files in the GCS bucket. Then it creates a model, but it's defaulting to Gemini 1.5. And then we have a table. Because I know it'll need a nudge, I'm giving it examples of how to use the AI functions in BigQuery with the object ref columns. Looks like it generated a bunch of additional files, including the front end. So I'll do a review and you don't see that here. I am also nudging a correction in the SQL and the small correction in the Python code. I won't bore you with this, but I go ahead to accept the changes and it's asking to execute the setup. So let's go. Fast forward with the power of video edition and it's given me the instructions on next steps and the Cloud Run URL. So let's go check out the application. I'm not showing you this part, but I added myself to the IAP authentication configuration and ta-da, 
we have an empty application as expected. Now I'm adding the files into the bucket and here you can see my encounter with a capybara. He was very sleepy and came to where I was sitting to get cuddles, so I was very honored by that. So let's see the store procedure in BigQuery. This looks solid and we can run it. And we have the files with the metadata descriptions and the title. And it's even referencing the people who were traveling with me and explaining the food we're eating. And it seems to be getting the locations right from the metadata between Japan and South Korea. Let's see if the application shows anything now. And yes, we have a timeline and I'm blurring the pictures of uh, my friends here because they will charge me royalties for using their images in my videos. And I know I said you didn't have to try this, but hopefully you find this as exciting as I do and you go ahead and give it a try. It's for free. All you need is a Gmail account.